Hello people, I'm Mike. And in case you're new to this channel, this is Mars for Ike. It's the only channel where we make Mars easy, cool, and fun for everybody. So if you haven't subscribed, I'm going to urge you to subscribe to the channel and also press the notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you're going to be the first person to see it, all right? You don't have to miss out. Yeah, so in this video, um, we're going to learn how to um, solve some questions under symmetrical functions, okay? Yeah, so in case you're here for that, then let's begin. All right, all right. So this is going to be our first question for the day, all right? Let's try and see. The question says that the equation 4 squared plus 8x minus 1 equals 0 has root alpha and beta. And if it's like that, then we to find 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared. When you have a question like this, how do you do it? Okay, so let's, let's, let's get straight over, all right? I don't want to talk much. So the first thing you have to do is to solve this expression that they're giving you. You have to solve this expression. Yeah. How do you solve this expression? When you have this expression like this, um, the first thing that you have to do is to find the LCM of the denominators, all right? So we have alpha squared and beta squared. That's going to be, that's going to be our, our LCM, okay? So we're going to have alpha squared plus alpha squared and beta squared as the LCM. So this one goes to that, this one goes to the, you're going to have um, beta squared here plus alpha squared, all right? So when we solve this expression, we're going to have something like this, okay? Now, this whole thing can also be rewritten in, as this. So we can, you know, addition is commutative. So we're going to have alpha squared plus beta squared all over alpha squared beta squared. All right, great. Now, this one, alpha squared plus beta squared is an identity. So we can write it in that form, okay? So if I'm writing this one in the form, sum and product the root, I'm going to have something like this. Alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta all over. So alpha squared times beta squared is going to give us alpha beta all squared. Yeah, so this expression has now um, given us this, okay? Great. Now we have this one, we can find, um, we can solve this expression by going to find the sum and the product of the roots and we come and fix it in the place of, you know, alpha plus beta and alpha times beta, okay? Great, so we go back to the equation. Alpha plus beta represent the sum of the equation. That's sum of the equation. All right, so the sum of the roots. The roots now are alpha and beta. So that is giving us negative b over a, okay? So negative b, that's going to give us negative um, 8 over 4, which is going to give us negative 2, okay? So therefore, the sum of the root, okay, is negative 2. Then let's go to the product of the root. That's going to be um, negative 1 over 4. So negative 1 over 4. That one is still the same. So therefore, where we see alpha plus beta, we put negative 2. And when we see alpha times beta, we put negative 1 over 4. Okay? Brilliant. So let's come and fix that mean and see what you're going to get. Right. We come to the question. We have alpha plus beta. That's going to give us negative 2 squared minus 2. Okay? 2 in a bracket, negative 1 over 4, all over, so we have negative 1 over 4, all squared, all right? So this one is going to give us negative 2, negative 2 squared is going to give us 4, right? So we have 4. Then um, this one is negative 2 times negative 1 is going to give us 2 over 4, that is 1 over 2, okay? So that's what we're going to have. Then um, that's going to be all of our, this one too is going to give us 1 over 16. So 1 over 16 as the answer. All right. So what, now we continue. When, um, 4 plus 1 over 2 is going to give us 9 over 2. Okay. So divided by 1 over 16 is times, so 16 over 1. Okay. So this one is going to give us 1 for 4. four over 2, which is equal to 72, all right? So therefore, this whole expression 
okay? When we solve this whole expression, we're going to get 72 as the answer, okay? Very, very simple. Didn't you see that? So when a question is given to you, you have to solve that expression. After that, you find the sum of the products of the root, you come and fix it in the place where they got to be fixed, okay? Then you solve it, you're going to get the answer. All right. Let's take another example and see how that one too is going to be done. Great. Uh -huh. So this is another example. Let's see this one too. It says that 4x squared plus 8x uh, minus 1 equals 0 has root alpha and beta. Now, if it's like that, we actually find um, cubic alpha times beta plus alpha times cubic beta. All right. So we to find this, I mean, expression. So we got to solve it. All right. Great. Now, this is how you're going to do it. You solve this expression separately so that you're going to have the sum and the product of the root, okay? So let's solve this expression separately. In case you have this expression, how are you going to do it? Um, you got to factorize it, yeah? So you're going to factorize it. We have alpha here. We have alpha here, beta here, beta. Okay, so we can factorize alpha. So here we factorize alpha. And um, we factorize beta too, right? Yeah, so we factorize beta. Now what we do with that, this place, so alpha cancels that we're going to have alpha squared, beta is gone, plus, so alpha 2 is gone here, then we have beta 1 out, so we have beta squared, all right? So that's what we're going to have. Now, okay, so we can expand this one, okay? We can expand this one. When we solve this one, we're going to have something like this. So alpha, mm, that one is going to give us alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta, all right? So that's what we're going to have. When we solve that, we're going to have something like this. Great. So now we got to go back to the equation and find the sum and the product of the root, okay? So AB or alpha beta, alpha beta represents um, the product of the root, okay? So the root are alpha and beta. So alpha times beta represent the product of the root. Then alpha plus beta represent the sum of the root, okay? So we go back to the equation and we go find the sum and the product of the root. Right, so how do you find the sum of the product of the root? In case you don't know how to do that, you check my video on how to find the sum of the product of the root, okay, of any quadratic equation. And then, you know, you can switch yourself, right? But then, let's, let's just do it. So to find the sum of the root is negative uh, 2 over a. Negative b over, over a, okay? Yeah, so b is 8 and then a is 4, okay? So it's going to be negative 8 over 4. Therefore, the sum of the root is negative 2, all right? Then um, the product of the root here is negative 1 over 4, okay? So we're going to have the same thing, negative 1 over 4, as the product of the root, okay? So now we're going to fix them in the place of, you know, where they got to be fixed, okay? So here we have alpha beta. That represents the product of the root, and we have negative 1 over 4. So we'll put it there, negative 1 over 4. Then we'll move on. Alpha plus beta represents the sum of the roots, and we'll solve that we got negative 2. So that one too, we have negative 2 squared minus 2. This one is negative 1 over 4. Okay, so that's what we're going to get for this one. Now let's solve it. We have negative 1 over 4. Okay, so this whole thing is going to give it, this one is 4 plus 1 over 2. Yeah, so 4 plus 1 over, yeah, 1 over 2. Okay, and that's going to give us negative 1 over 4 in a bracket. This one's going to give us 9, 9 over 2. All right, so we multiply them, we multiply them, we're going to have the answer to be mm, negative 9 over 8, okay? So therefore, when we solve this one, okay, this is the answer that we're going to have, all right? And it's just simple, I mean very simple. Guys, that's how you solve questions, you know, of this nature. Symmetrical functions, very, very easy. In case this video was helpful, and I know it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's very important, all right? And if you haven't subscribed, 
kindly subscribe okay and press the bell so that whenever i put out a new video you're gonna be the first one to see it and you're gonna learn what i like, okay thanks so much for watching guys bye